Yesu Mungo de makayo Umbagiji Eikele kaisaya ho Yesu Mungo de makayo Umbagiji Eikele kaisaya ho Authority in heaven and earth will bless your name. The King of Kings will exalt you. The Lord of Lords will exalt you. The Mighty One will give you all of the praise tonight. Thank you for bringing us here yourself. Thank you for all that which you have done. Thank you for your grace that has sustained us. Thank you for your power at work in this place. Father, tonight we raise our voice to say thank you. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, we bank upon your mercy. And we ask that you show us mercy tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, use me to communicate your word to your people. Speak to us with simplicity and with power. And at the end of today, cause us to mount up with wings as eagles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Can somebody shout hallelujah? All over the house tonight, can we shout hallelujah? I want to bless the God and His grace that has found me to be here tonight. I do not take it for granted. I want to specially appreciate our Father and our Mother in the Lord. Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio, thank you so much for having us. I want to just say privilege to tell you and wish you happy birthday. From all of your children, we want to say happy birthday to you, Daddy. We wish you long life and prosperity. Thank you for the good work you've laid upon our hands and we will ensure never to put you to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. The topic before us tonight is on the eagle's wing. On eagle's wings. The topic for tonight is a powerful theme that no man should trivialize here tonight. And the Bible passage is from the book of Isaiah chapter 40. The book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to verse 39. As thou not known, as thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, faint and not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that had no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. The Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight I will want us to begin with the meaning of the theme of tonight. And to start tonight, I want us to consider the two subject matter, eagle and wings. What is an eagle? An eagle is a large and powerful bird that soars so high majestically in the air, while the wing of the other hand is a part of the bird's body that enables her to fly so high and can balance even in the sky. So what is eagle's wing itself? What is eagle's wing? Literally, eagle's wing are the part of eagle's body 
that enables her to swipe so high majestically and that also enables her to imbalance even in the sky. Revelation chapter 4 from verse 6 to verse 9. The book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 6 to verse 9 began to give us understanding of the creatures that are in heaven. And the Bible told us that the first creature was like a lion and the second creature was like a lamb. And he told us that the two living creatures in heaven had the likeness and had the face of a man. And that the fourth one, he said, was like an eagle. So tonight, the theme of tonight is entered on that eagle. And I want to draw our attention to some certain things of an eagle. This gave us understanding and wisdom that there is something special about this living creature called an eagle. You begin to see the Bible making references to ego. What is it about an ego that Christians should learn? Tonight, before I move forward, I will tell us lessons that we can learn from the life and the characteristics of an ego. The first one, ego has a sharp and a clear vision. The length and the breadth you can go in life is determined by how far you can see. How far you can see but determine how far you can go. Genesis chapter 37 from verse 5 to verse 9. The book of Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 to verse 9. Told us about a young man called Joseph. Joseph caught a dream and a vision. And saw himself becoming a great man. He held on to this vision until those things became reality. Lesson number two from the life of an eagle. Ego flies alone. Can I tell you tonight, your dream and your vision is different from that of your neighbor. So if you want to live your life as your friend is living in, and I tell you tonight, it is possible that you might not achieve your dreams. Much wonder the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17 says, Separate you from among them. There must be a separation between you and them for your destiny to be fulfilled. The fulfillment of your destiny is personal. How can you fly with others? No, chicken and birds cannot fly together. You are eagle and they are birds. You are eagle and they are chicken. There is differences between eagle and chicken. Your destination is different from theirs. Your vision is different from theirs. Lesson number three from an eagle. Eagle don't feed on dead animals. Much wonder what the Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. That even as the open baby, this I had a sincere meant to grow. You need to feed on the living word of God. Lesson number four from an eagle. Eagle swai higher and higher regardless the storm. Regardless whatsoever come it way. Can I tell you tonight, regardless the challenges and the circumstances that confront you, never give up. Regardless the situation you find yourself, never give up. Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 B. Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 B says, And they who do not their God shall be strong and do exploit. Can I ask you a sincere and a simple question tonight? Do you know Jesus? If you know Jesus, there is nothing to fear. Because with Jesus, you can swear so high and so far in life and in destiny. Lesson number five from an eagle. Eagle lays off old feathers and big. Eagle lays off old feathers and big. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12. And verse 5 tells us, lay aside every weight and sin that does easily be said you cannot fly if those weight and sins are still in your body. And that is why you came tonight. That you will lay aside all the weights and the sin that does easily be said to you. Can I also tell you tonight, it is an error for you to return with that sickness. That is why you came. You came to encounter God such that you can drop all of the sickness, all of the challenges, and all the pains right at the feet of Jesus Christ. Having 
said it all. Why should I mount up on the eagle's wings? I think I've done enough in respect to the mini and characteristics of an eagle. You need to know why you must mount up on the eagle's wing. Follow me carefully tonight. Number one, to live as a royalty. Why should I mount up with wings like eagle? Number one, to live as royalty. Have you forgotten that first Peter chapter 2 and verse 9? First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. Told us that we are royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar person. So you don't need to live like a chicken. Live like an eagle that God has made you to be. Part of the royalty of God. Who happens to be the king of kings. Will rub off on you. Only if you work on, or only if you can live as a royalty. Journey with kings tonight. Journey with the king of kings tonight. That you may live as a royalty. You cannot journey or fly with the king of kings and remain the same negatively. No, sir. Part of his royalty will rub off on you. In as much as you can come before God, in as much as you can come to God, the kingly part of God will rub on you and you will begin to legislate as kings. Can you look at somebody beside you that looks like king or as eagle that you are? Tell them that you have been made kings to reign here on earth. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 1 to verse 10. Second Samuel chapter 9, from verse 1 to verse 10. Gave us a typical example of a man who had a contact with the king. Mind you, this king we're talking about in the scriptures was the king of the earth. Now, let's look at the scriptures. Mida, can you show me the scriptures? Second Kings chapter 9, show me verse 1. Second Kings chapter 9. Verse 1. And David said, Is there yet any left in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Is there somebody here tonight that will have a contact with the king of kings? Is there somebody here tonight that will have a contact with the Lord of Lords? If you are here tonight, I congratulate you. Is there anyone left in the house of Saul? Says the scribe. Can I tell you tonight? God was searching for men. And he went into the family of Adeboye. And he said, Is there anybody in the family of Adeboye that I can make a royalty and a king such that it can reign here on earth? And the Lord find our Father and the Lord. When you check verse 4, the Bible says in the verse 4, And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold is in the house of Micah, the son of Hamiel, in Lodiba. Can I tell you tonight? Your current location does not matter. What matters tonight is that you need to locate the one who can cause you to mount on the eagle's wings. I know a God that can pick a man from Lodiba and set him in the palace. And that God will locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. If the Lord carries you on his wing, where you are does not matter. He picked Mephibosheth from Lodiba and make him to become to sit with kings and with people that matter. May that God locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. He said he has made us unto God kings and priests. After this special legal service, 
you will begin to sit with the kings and the mighties in the name of Jesus. I don't want to know your family background. I came with the one who can cause a man to mount on the eagle's wing. Who can make a man to fly so high. I decree in that name tonight. Your current location does not matter. My God can take you from there to where you are to operate. In the name of Jesus. Why should I mouth up on the eagle's wing? Number two. To operate with Christ. Far above principalities and power. To operate with Christ. Far above principalities and power. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to verse 22. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 20 to verse 22. Begin to give us understanding of where we ought to operate as God's children. If Jesus carries you. You will begin to operate. In the same realm and level where Jesus operates. The Bible says, Jesus has been lifted far above principalities and power. So if this Jesus can carry me, I can operate far above principality and power. If Jesus can carry you, you will begin to operate in the same realm of power and dominion. The book of John chapter 14 and verse 12. John chapter 14 and verse 12 says, Greater works than this shall ye do. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, and the works that I do, greater works than this shall he do, because I go up to my Father. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8 says, When Jesus was ascending high, he led the captives captive and he gave gifts to men. Then verse 11 says, To some he gave apostles, to some he gave prophets, to some he gave pastors, to some evangelists, to some teachers. Why? Because that is what we ought to be here on earth. Why should we mount up? As he goes, number three, to enjoy the grace of ease and speed to enjoy the grace of ease and speed when you fly on the eagle's wings things that takes men like 10 years can take you just 10 months why because you are not working on banking on your strength it is the eagle himself that is carrying you so he can cause you to achieve what takes men 10 years to get if others are laboring to get in, look for the ego and let him carry you. When the ego carries you, it will make you to achieve those things effortlessly. How do we explain all of these wonders? It's because we are mounting up on the ego's wing. Your strength might have failed you. Your capacity might have failed you. But you can bank on the strength of the Lord. If others are, in, are facing difficulty, you can begin to enjoy double ease. Why? Because God the Father is showing you favor and ease. And then men are also showing you ease. Because you are soaring or flying on the eagle's wing. Number four. Why should we mount up on eagle's wing to enjoy victory? To enjoy victory. For Samuel chapter 17, verse 42 to 51, recorded about a man called David who got victory. He defeated Goliath, the captain of the Philistine. It was not by his strength, it was because. It was operating on the strength of the eagle. The eagle has carried David, so David can kill the Goliath with just a stone. How do we explain this? It is the workability of the eagle's power at work in your life. If the eagle can carry you, all of this reality are possible. The Lord granted David victory and brought down the head of Goliath, the captain of the Philistine. 
Let Jesus carry you so that he can win the battle for you. Enough of fighting the battle by yourself. Let him who can win the battle carry you. Be carried on the Hindu's wings. Second Kings chapter 1, verse 9 to 15. Told us of all about the man. Second Kings chapter 1, verse 9 to verse 15. Told us about Elijah. The king wanted to devour him. Little did he know that he has mounted on the eagle's wing. He said the verse 50. Elijah called down fire and consumed them. He called upon the second 50. They went to Elijah. Elijah consumed the second 50. And then they told 50 how to operate in wisdom. And went before him, who has been carried by the eagle's wing, and told him, please, just come with us. When you begin to operate on the eagle's wing, you have victory so cheaply. Why should I mount up on eagle's wing number five? So that you can fly so high in life and in destiny. There is no limit to how far God can take you. You can go so wide and so far, only if you can allow God the eagle himself to carry you. How do we explain of a man that slept and woke up as a prisoner, but before the end of the day, he found himself in the palace? It was because he was carried on the eagle's wing. Genesis chapter 41, verse 39 to verse 44. But I want to take verse 44. Genesis 39, 41 rather, verse 44. The book of Genesis, chapter 41, and verse 44. Can we read it together? The Bible says, And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or his foot in the land. Pharaoh bank upon the integrity of his, of his name and made the pronouncement upon the man who has been carried on the eagle's wing. How to mount up on the eagle's wing? Have you knew the reasons why you must mount up? Can I tell you now how you must mount up on the eagle's wing? We've we'll discussed extensively why you must mount up. Now can I tell you how to mount up on this eagle's wing? Number one, position your mind and desire to be lifted by the eagle. Position your mind and desire to be carried by God himself. No man wait upon the Lord and return the same. When you come before the Lord, he carries you like a baby. Have you seen a mother carrying the baby before? The baby operate under his. Proverbs 23 and verse 7 it says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So your today is a direct reflection of your thought and your thinking system. Your today is a direct reflection of your desires. Do you want to swallow like an eagle? Do you want to mount on the eagle's wing? Allow Jesus to carry you. You can ask him to carry you and he will definitely. Number two, wait upon the Lord. And you look for somebody that looks like a person you want to be and tell him, wait upon the Lord. The destiny of those that wait, don't waste. If you cannot wait in express, I can I tell you tonight, you can end up being wasted in life and in destiny. Wait on Jesus. Just as the little one, we always depend on your father or your mother. Isaiah chapter 30 verse, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 to 31. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30 to 31. Says even the youth, they faint. Could this be the reason why the youth of our generation are fainting? Because they don't want to wait. The youth of my generation are rushing. No, there is a place called a waiting place. You need to wait, sir. Number three. How to mount up on the eagle's wing. Set your gaze on Jesus. Enough of looking unto men. Set your gaze on Redirect your focus to God. It's the one that can carry you. Has man not failed you enough? Has people not failed you enough? Back on unto him who can carry you. Take your trust away from man. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, 
I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? And that help will come to you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. The best of a man is always a man. Is it not the man that the Bible says is out of the wicked? No. Don't depend on man. Depend on the eagle himself. Let the eagle carry you. Tell somebody here tonight. Let the eagle carry you. Hebrews 12, verse 2 says, Looking up to Jesus, the earth, and the finish of our faith. Number four, how to mount up on eagle's wing depend on the strength. A strength is enough for you. When you allow Jesus to carry you, you don't need to depend on your strength or your wisdom. Just relax and allow him to fly you to the destination of your dream point. There is no height or limit to God. There is no height or limit that God can take you. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, yet the Lord. It is not by the power of man. It is by the power of the eagle himself. It is by the power of Jesus himself. The strength of Nero and Cobb has even failed us in our nation. It is time for God's children to begin to depend on the strength and on the power of the Lord. Our nation can depend on the strength of Jesus. Our economy can depend on the strength of Jesus. Number five, surrender your life and all to Jesus and follow him. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. Begin to tell us about the making process. Jesus told Peter, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The making process starts from the point you begin to follow Jesus. If you can begin to follow Jesus, I tell you, you have commenced the making process. God will make men here tonight. For men who can decide to follow Jesus, the Lord will make you what you want to be. In the name of Jesus. Before an eaglet will start to fly, he must obey the instruction of the mother eagle. And after a while, you begin to see it flying so high. Our Father and the Lord obey the instruction of God. He lay aside his career and his ambition of becoming the youngest vice chancellor. And he went to a very small mass on there in Mushi. From Mushi, he was directed by the instruction of the Lord. And he obeyed to come to the jungle of Ibando Expressway. Kai, who can tell that our same jungle will become a city where kings and nobles from all around the world, both white and black, will come to seek the face of the Lord? Can you obey the instruction and the command of the eagle tonight? Jesus is that eagle we are talking about. Obey him. Listen to his instruction. No matter how bad or how worse you think your case may be, what you need to do is to submit to the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. What you need to do is to surrender all to him and watch him make your life an amazing wonder. No matter how deep you are in sin, no matter how broken you may think you are, no matter how worse your challenge can be, I can tell you tonight, and I tell you tonight, Jesus can gather up your broken pieces, mend them, and make you what you want to be. Jesus is calling on you today. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that are pothing and heavenly laden, and I will grant you rest. When our Father and the Lord come tonight for the other call, I want to beseech you in the name of Jesus. Rush out with speed. And give your life to him. Rush out with speed. And surrender all to Jesus. Can we rise up tonight as we pray? Rise up tonight as we pray. Cry at the top of your voice. Say Jesus. Carry me on your wings. To the mountain top. Holy Ghost. Carry me on your wings. To my place of destiny. Carry me to the place of power. Carry me to the place of influence. Carry me to my dreamland. Carry me to my place of destiny. 
Can you open your mouth and pray? It can carry you tonight.